There we go. So, Cha, if you, you should have received an invitation, so you can join me. We have more and more people joining right now. Yeah. Again, uh, for for those who join, I guess that's the like Strider. Um, we'll we'll have like a recap article. We'll upload uh, the like a recording of this uh, of the spaces to to YouTube, and it's gonna be available pretty much right after anyway on Twitter. Um, oh, just man. so you know. A rocky oh, process, but I'm but I'm here. I have made yeah. it. Uh, yeah, great to have you. Thank you for joining, Chao. <laughs> it's it, a it's pleasure like to be here. Two minutes ago, before this, exactly. But, um, I, that's I think that's that's one of the things with content creation. Obviously, you go in with a plan, uh, and then once you meet again, I don't know. It's always a bit awkward, but we'll make it work, right? Yeah, exactly. Um. We also have no choice but to make it work. Yeah, so I guess we can kind of start with the premise of this whole thing, which is I, I, it's mm. called catching up to Seascape. It's going to be, I think, shorter than than the normal ones. I think we'll probably be closer to half an hour, but I guess we'll see um, over the course of this. Um, so basically, catching up means, um, in a sense, it's where, where we are right now, right? What's been going on? Um what's been going on, what is going on, and what will go on, right? Kind of um, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to add in while you were stating that, that this is the first of several uh, streams we're going to be doing on this very topic because we think there's a lot of back and forth that we need to be doing. We've gotten a lot of feedback from the community and we think that you deserve answers and and directness, and we aim to to provide that. We can't provide all of it today, but we're we're going to try to start. I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so the, yeah, the premises. Uh, there's been I don't know. There's discussion in, in the communities are probably the best words um, both ways mm -hmm. with the direction. I guess not direction, but also yeah, I don't know. In general, just like communication, maybe maybe hasn't been ideal. Um, so we'll we'll try to address some of the stuff. Um, yeah, this is also just like uh, yeah, as a, as a promise, and um, also basically as an acknowledgement of that we are listening, right? We yes, I think I think yeah. we've all, we've stressed it as well. Um, obviously, there's uh, certain people from me, for example, who are like uh, community managers, right? There's there's Halfo, there's Anura, who are always like, in the community as well. Um, but it's not just just because only we are most or we are mostly visible. There's obviously loads of people involved as well. They're also um, aware of this uh, this conversation that's been going on. Um, but yeah, it's just that um, yeah, this is a way of addressing it in like a easier form, right? Because if if we type out everything, yeah. my my tiny fingers would hurt. I think uh, so. I think talking is is a lot easier. And in the coming day, uh, yeah days and, and weeks as well um there's there's going to be more updates and the feedback that's already been provided and um is has been written down so we have we've condensed uh, most of it like in in a li in a list um we've we've noted uh, yeah, i don't know I, I can't say everything maybe maybe i've missed something but most of it is written down and is uh, like being worked on if if it's possible possible to work on um and exactly yeah, where, where, where should we start off? So you can you can do the honors and, and... so uh, I, I I feel honored. Thank you. Uh, okay, so first of all, I want to start off with a, an overall summary of kind of where we're coming from. Uh, that includes uh, effectively, and so the the overall like the 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 bullseye right that we're hitting at is that. Uh, Right now, the entire Web3 world, uh, every project out there almost, is experiencing a lot of uh, you know, tumultuous um, growth and degrowth, things like that. And it's causing a lot of uncertainty. You know, we live in, a, in an era of uncertainty. And that uncertainty should never be compounded with a lack of transparency, right? So I feel like just listening to some of the things that our, that our players have been saying, that our wonderful community has been saying that we are really, really, really appreciative of, uh, is that uh, there's a mixture of this, it's like being inside of a haunted house or in a scary movie, and you're not hearing back from the other person on the other side of the, 
of the of the intercoms, or you only get snips and bits of, of conversation. So you're not entirely certain what's happening on, on the other side, especially in situations where there is such uncertainty, where there is such unease. It is extra important for us to assuage those fears. Actually, I have no idea how that word is pronounced. Is it assuage, assuage? I'm not sure. But to to alleviate some of those some of those concerns. So I think our goal today is to touch on a few things that we're able to touch on, uh, and then create a path going forward for how we think it'll be better to present com- com- um, information on a regular basis, so that the community doesn't feel in the dark, especially in dark and troubling times. Thank you. That was a very good way of putting it. Um, <laughs> little note, Google text to speech, speech says it's, it's wage. So I think you were correct. Okay. Um, Look, today I learned. Today I learned. <laughs> I, I learned a new word. I didn't even know the word previously. So we, <laughs> we both did. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th- I think I think so as well. I think the um, there's been a lack of transparency and maybe communication, right? Um, yeah. With certain things, I, I guess most mostly overarching, right? Because certain certain stuff has been yeah. going on and it has been communicated, but not everything. And now yeah. that this conversation has been, I guess I I I say I say this now. I say forced upon us, but it's not in a bad way. I think I'm, we are all very appreciative of it. It shows that people care. Um, I'm actually happy to have this discussion, and I'm very grateful and glad we do have this discussion, because otherwise the problem would have just been going on, right? Um, so we do, they definitely do want to change and and have basically take those those fears maybe away or at least like address them properly because obviously there's stuff like Charles said that is unpredictable that is out of our control but the stuff that is within our control and that we can and do um, do influence I think then we should also yeah we should be open uh, open uh, with and about and 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 start I don't know yeah so. So one of the areas that uh, people had a lot of concerns was the most recent season of Zombie Farm. And that's understandable that people have such concerns. So we can't get into the specifics of it uh, with respect to Zombie Farm, but we can talk about a few things. One is that um, this is the second season of Zombie Farm, and uh, players are a little bit less excited about this one than they were last season. And part of it is because of some of the decisions that we made, like what kinds of pools are available, what kinds of rewards are available, uh, what, uh, how do we come to those decisions? Um, How do we plan to, to, to promote given, you know, what we've got. And the truth of the matter is that uh, we probably should have had a specific conversation going over those decisions. How did we choose the pools that we chose? How did we choose the rewards that we chose? Now, you might be surprised to hear this, but those decisions don't happen uh, from, from Simon or myself. We don't make those choices. Uh, we, are, we are merely informed of them. So we can't speak to that directly, but what we want to do going forward, and we hope this makes people happy, is uh, provide sort of uh, just, when we have uh, particularly complex uh, um, games and designs and pools. We want to explain our reasoning behind this and how it fits into the wider ecosystem, why we thought this particular DeFi structure would be beneficial to our players. Uh, We want to give a little bit more information about that. We should have given this, I admit, before the season happened. We should have given it you know, at the very, very beginning, we did not, we failed to. So our goal is going to be to get you that information uh, soon, within the next couple of days. And then in future seasons, uh, we will provide uh, some of the thinking, some of the rationale behind uh, the, our, our design, especially because our, our, our ecosystem is strategic in nature, right? You play one game first and then another game, you win rewards here, then use them elsewhere, uh, the wider picture is sometimes not very visible, and I think that that would be cleared up, one, with a bit more transparency behind design, and two, with a clearer vision of the future. So we'll get into what we're going to do about, about future visions shortly, but first I wanted to address that. Uh, do you have any other ideas uh, about Zombie Farm? Um, yeah, yeah, I think um, 
basically one of the things maybe i don't know if this this is what caused this discussion to be had because it, it coincided with this const uh, with this uh, happening now um mm -hmm. i think uh, for example maybe maybe actually because i i keep saying and referencing this this has been mostly sparked by by discussions in our telegram group groups yeah. two 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 of them like our main group and then we have a like a, a price discussion group um where This this has basically been kickstarted just so people maybe that just tune in from Twitter wherever wherever know know this so you can I don't know if you want to be part of this you can you can join them um, with like our link tree uh, if you do want to join but back back to the topic sorry um, um, so yeah for for zombie farm I think um, yeah part of this is just basically what you said like pools um, stuff around it like happening before with like the the sale of the NFTs. Um, yeah, just to, just hasn't been, yeah, I guess just not communicated properly. And while obviously it's not always, we can't always disclose everything to everyone. Obviously that makes sense. We we still have certain things that are or have to be kept behind closed doors for various reasons. Sometimes it's stuff not not particularly with the zombie farm, but with for example with partners, right? If there's discussions going on of this uh, certain things, we we obviously if we um, I don't know. Yeah, communicated everything transparently 100% that wouldn't work for various reasons um so I, i guess that's that's one of the things that has to be made clear as well um but i think uh, the the biggest thing is as you said that uh we we should and we will uh, try to communicate as much as possible before um all around the launches we have around the different mini games or the ecosystem as a whole instead of basically having to address this afterwards where people did certain things, uh, invested their time and their money, um, and now are unhappy with the results, right? That's something we obviously don't want to happen. And um, yeah, this this discussion or uh, this, this, I guess, like communication plan, the, the way we communicate um, is, is going to, to change for Zombie Farm Season 3 or whatever comes next for Zombie Farm and most or all of our other games and projects, right? So yeah, the basic... Yeah the basic, uh, I guess, setup of, of communication. Because because Seascape is not just a single game. The Seascape network is not just one game, right? We have we have loads of things. And it, it's an ecosystem, right? That's that's the big thing, yeah. right? We're, we're, the network part is, is there for a reason. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely try to take this into account for the next season of Zombie Farm, but also for, for most of the next um, projects we have um, on the horizon. And for stuff that happened in the past. And that's something I'm, I'm pivoting now to the next topic for stuff that already happened and which is, but is yet to deliver to maybe the promised extent. And um, I think, do you want to take to the seas? The, the I hope, I hope you got what I'm the, getting at. Take the deceased? Oh, hold on, hold the on. the seas. The seas. Oh, take to the seas. Okay. Exactly. You said... Okay, so part before I take to the seas, uh, I I, okay. I I do want to say that the reason why I was so confused and thought you said take take the deceased is because for some reason I have a text to speech like I can it's it's recording our words but it's all in German so it thinks we're speaking German and it's trying oh. to it's trying to like us uh, uh, approximate our words. <laughs> in, oh yeah. Into, <laughs> to German and it makes and with like random English words throw in thrown in and it's um I'm gonna say it's hilarious it's really oh, yeah, it's cool. if, if you guys aren't watching this at the bottom of the screen you should check it out it's it's, it's really silly okay <laughs> so sorry before okay the next time if, if we actually if someone wants to use the the um subtitles like the cc I will I will um change my twitter Uh, language to to English, so it actually makes sense. I I, I I thought it was just for me, but no, it it is absolute nonsense. So if you if you planned on reading the the closed captions, I'm I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, okay, that's that is actually quite also quite distracting. I'll turn them off. So otherwise, I, I I will just be reading complete and utter nonsense the entire time. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Okay. Now you okay. Now, now, okay. now please take to the seas. Okay, yes, yeah, so uh, we've gotten a number of uh, people asking us a bit about our esteemed boat series, um, our, our giant, you know, our, our you know, the, the, the river boats, right, uh, on, on Moon River. And uh, 
unfairly you haven't heard about them in a while because uh we we had some plans and then we shelved them and then we came back to them and then we had some other plans we want to make sure that they because of how special they are they're the only unique nft series we have in the in the ecosystem so we want to give them a, a proper treatment and also they're on a a chain uh that wh- whose um flexibility in terms of like what kind of partnerships we can use what kind of games we can use etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera, uh, is something different from, say, like, you know, Ethereum and Binance. Like, each chain has their own needs, right? So we've been thinking about ways that won't break our, you know, uh, total economy and system. That will be a good usage uh, of the boats. So while I can't go into too much detail about long-term plans, I can tell you some short-term plans for them. One of them is that we are planning a season of staking saloon on uh, moon on moon river moonbeam one of the two uh, maybe both uh, and um, i guess moon river for the for the moon boats uh, for the river boats and the plan is to allow users to have a special uh, ability a special pool for for the river boats themselves so that'll be one financial usage of your boat um, and another plan that we, I can't talk very much about it, but we have some other special, specific, unique usages that we are experimenting with. I'm like, the thing is, if I say too much right now, I could be very wrong. And then like eight months later, people will be like, you said we're going to do this. Well, I, it, it wasn't pretty awful. What can I tell you? So what, in, what I'm going to do instead is uh, riverboat related projects we are going to talk about in our, like, uh, let me just get straight to the point here. We're going to create a real live um, dynamic and updatable uh, uh, roadmap for Seascape. Our intention is for our communities, our fans, people who are mildly interested to have a concrete idea about what the future is going to hold and how the things that are going to come out in the future are going to relate to those things which already exist. Some of it will have to be a bit vague because we're just not entirely certain of the nature that it will take in its final instantiation. Those, among those projects, one of them uh, is bound to be related to the riverboats, but there will be others as well. There are some things that I'm extremely excited about and I'm bursting at the seams I would love to tell you guys about but I can't at this early date. Uh, but please look forward to a real roadmap with dynamic dates, some a bit of vagueness and obscurity, but uh, something that I think will will make understanding the big picture uh, a lot easier uh, from 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 your perspective. Yeah. Uh, good, good that, that you touched upon that already because I, I, I've seen already in the in the Telegram group there's some there's there's been a question about that um, about the Rome. So so certainly, for example, I I've seen one of the parts that obviously there was like a, I mean there wasn't like a full on roadmap because because the thing is with the roadmap it is either like a graphic or something. Um, obviously, there's been a plan and the, the, like our product team knows what they're working on. They have like different things, right? They have a mapped out road. But we didn't have a per se. We didn't have a roadmap, right? So now the next thing and one of the the easier and like quicker things we can do is get a roadmap down. Just basically, just a graphic graphic representation of things we do want to do, things we've already talked about. I think also, well, for instance, we've talked about mini miners that's coming up. We can't promise a date yet, but it's it's like in the near future. So that will obviously be on there. Even though we've talked about it, I think it it always just helps. Um, it makes it a lot easier, makes it more accessible just to see, okay, this is happening kind of in that ballpark, right? They, we follow, most, most things, you won't get a definite date. It's not going to be on the 30th of September, but it's going to be like in, in an estimation. Um, stuff can always change. So I think as well in the community, there's been also understanding, right, that the roadmap doesn't have to be like set in stone. It's going to be dynamic. It's going to be added to and maybe even taken away from, let's hope, hope that it's not going to be the case, but it's going to be dynamic. It, it will change over time. Um, but we're, we're definitely, we're, we're working on that. That was one of the first things I think as well um, we, we set out to do um, after I think last Friday and this uh, earlier this week that we want to get um, a roadmap out, like a public roadmap, obviously, um, 
just to represent basically the the development, the whatever's going on behind the scenes, um, to help users, anyone who wants to know, wants to see, um, yeah, to know what actually is going on, what's on the cards, what's happening in the future. So roadmap is is on uh, definitely on the cards. It's one of our like the biggest short term priorities within our, like our communication, our communication plan. And um, I, I don't know exactly that. That would also be part of the roadmap. When is the roadmap finished? I, I don't know yet, but it's, it's so, going to be. You, you know, on, on that topic of when will the roadmap be finished, I think an important, on, the, on the issue of transparency, probably we should you know mention that uh, due to the part of the year, a lot of our, uh, a lot of the CC team is on vacation. <laughs> so um, it means that some of our outputs will be a little bit slow for the next week or so. Please bear with us. Um, we have a lot fewer hands than we normally do. So uh, it's taking us a little bit of time to put things together. But uh, we promise when it's ready, it'll be beautiful. And yeah. um, hopefully you guys will like it. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if I had to like graphically do the roadmap, it would be nothing but an eyesore and no no one would even care or appreciate it. So I think it's good that we have proper people working on it. Um, yeah. Um, so that's the roadmap thing. Uh, I think, um, again, I, I hope we have that uh, as soon as possible. But again, um, due to yeah, various stuff in and around the fall. Um, we have, uh, I think well, maybe people are aware, maybe they're not actually. So I think that also helps to clear up some stuff um, with availability of maybe people in the community. Um, I guess it's not the biggest secret, right? For, for example, I'm located in Germany, so I'm on a like European mm -hmm. time zone, plus minus one uh, from most, most places in Europe. For example, Char, you're situated, you're in, in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I am. UTC plus nine. So it's yeah. 9.30 p.m. my time right now. Um, and then the other marketing people, for example, Jessie, she, she is, uh, is she plus six, right? No, Jessie is plus eight, plus eight. She's plus only eight one even. hour. Yeah, she's one hour behind me. Oh, plus eight UTC. I thought plus eight my time. Okay. So, yeah, so, so she's six hours ahead of me. Um, yeah. so, so yeah, plus eight UTC. And I think then, um, most other people, so Halfo, for example, he's in, uh, uh, okay, I'll just say he's on my time zone. I don't want to dox him or anything. And then um, Anuva is ahead of me as well, but not as far as you are, Char. Um, mm. And then, so, um, so maybe that explains some stuff. Right? We, have, we have many people, but I'm basically getting, I'm, I'm rambling, is that we have loads of people, many people in, in, in Asia, in East Asia as well. So they, they are on a bit of a different schedule than us. Sometimes that leads to I don't know not not big problems, but I think it just like sometimes it, it explains certain things, right? For example, for Charles, like rather late already, right? It's yes. already even nine thirty night. p.m. almost. Yeah, for me it's 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 two thirty, so there's uh, that's maybe one mm. of, one thing that that also helps. So for example, like also with with that stuff, there's different vacations or um, public holidays we have we can take, um, and I think right now there's there's just a lot of happening. I think in in China, in Japan, maybe as well. Um, yeah, it's exciting so, times. So, yeah, so sometimes availability like heavily depends, right? Um, I live yeah. in, a, in a majority Christian country, so we have Christian holidays, which maybe most people listening right now are familiar with, um, and they maybe take them as them as well. Uh, so that's that's one of the things. Um, but kind of besides the point. But just I guess maybe it, it kind of helps uh, and explains why why certain things are the way they are. So yeah, if you watch our streams, you have to appreciate Jesse even more because she always does them at night for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although she'll be in America for a month and we'll be in her morning. So, exactly. Seascape is located all over the world. I'm not sure how many of you guys are aware of this. Uh, the farthest in the future is myself at UTC plus nine, and. Uh, uh, Probably the latest in the past is, ooh, I don't even know, you, America East Coast? I don't know exactly what time, like what, what UTC that is. But uh, yeah. because we, we cover about ooh, like 16 hours, like four, 14 hours, I think, of, of the globe. So yeah. uh, uh, it does mean a bit about, you know, yeah. it does mean that like, our ability to communicate is, is kind of impacted by that. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's the case. I think I just looked it up. So um, we I don't think we have anyone in Kiribati, but they are plus 14. <laughs> oh, that's my goodness. Insane. They are 
Plus, and I think yeah, they 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 celebrate New Year's almost the whole day in front of the. No, that's actually almost that's actually a whole day, like U.S. East Coast. Would be wow. almost like twenty four hours behind, or may I guess Hawaii might be even further back, right? Hawaii. Oh my god! Well, you can't be more than twenty four hours back, right? Is that yeah? yeah how does that work? Okay. I don't know. Okay, that, that's a different thing. Just interesting <laughs> stuff. Okay, time zones. We got we we got we got we got stuck. We got stuck. Yeah. Okay. N- next so, next right. spaces will be about time zones. Okay. Oh. Yeah, ex- exclusively, exclusively about time zones. Uh, okay. Um, so okay, let's see if there's any other things we can discuss. Uh, in this particular uh, live stream. And one thing I'd like to ask for you guys who are listening right now uh, is what what would you, what would be an ideal situation for us to have back and forth? Because we have our Telegram group, right? But what would you like to see from us? Besides a roadmap, would you like to, what are, what's a wish list in terms of specifically communication related? What are the things you guys want to see going forward um, about how can we make relating to you guys even easier and smoother and better? Exactly. And, and that could be anything, right? Um, if you want, I don't know, if you want to have uh, game nights, or I don't know, if you, wanna, if you want Char to fly you out to Japan. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but, okay. I, but I can sing you a lullaby. Like yeah, exactly. no. Um, no, but, but uh, there's something as well that's... Um, I, I guess this is the first instance of this happening, but like the feedback is also going to be, um, yeah, I don't know, just not, it's, it, I, 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 it's like a push-pull thing, right? I think we definitely mm-hmm. do want the feedback. Um, now um, now we're at this position we are right now. Um, I think in the future, uh, I'm, I could just, it's not yet decided how, how that will look, but um, we we'll definitely, I guess, create, I don't know, some document or whatever version, uh, any any means, any any avenue for for like the community to voice their feedback that could be about anything um mostly communication uh, related but also other stuff um if mm-hmm. you want certain things if you want i don't know xyz in, in the community if you want to have campaigns or not just free stuff we're not going to just like give you those of cws um but mm-hmm. uh, if there's like stuff you want to see from the team from us from i don't know in general seascape maybe um, you can you can obviously voice that. Please do. Um, I think we're we're always here to listen. Um, yeah. And... and even if we're not getting back to you as quickly as you'd like, I promise you, everything you say, we are aware of it. We discuss it behind closed doors. We think about, and we're very grateful. Like we don't, we're not annoyed by it. We want you guys to be to 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 be emotionally invested in our product, to to believe in us, and to want to see it do better. So we've already gotten some actually really good uh, suggestions from our community before, and we welcome more of them. In fact, we're going to be opening uh, new channels in our Discord to facilitate more of that. In fact, our next uh, Twitter Spaces will not be on Twitter; it'll be on Discord. So. Uh, think about that think about what possibilities exist that haven't been tapped into and how we might be able to do that yeah 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 exactly and i think also um one thing for example like you say with discord that's like something that's been abandoned for quite quite a while um we've we're working on it Uh, sometimes Mm -hmm. the problem is stuff is always it's always hard right there needs to be i don't know like a it's like two-way street um if there's stuff you have ideas or if you think there's something we can't do, if you see something in other projects, um, you can alert us, right? You don't have to do our entire job for us, but you, if you see something that you think might work, um, um, we'll, we'll, we're happy to, to look into it, to change and to steal any idea that, that there is. Maybe. Mm-hmm. No. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, no, it, 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 it's a joke. It's a joke. It's yeah. a joke, it is. Um, no, but but uh, so back to back to the the topics at hand, right? So so certain stuff I've seen as well. We we can't go into uh, right now, right? With this, just the the beginning. For example, the one question from Strider who's also in here is the the like the token for block lots. I think that's not something we can go into right now. I'm pretty confident. I know I know it's frustrating. <laughs> But that's also not our right. So we do obviously like block lot Seascape is like, right? We're like sister companies, whatever. I, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. the Disney comparison has been made, right? So yeah, exactly. Like, um, but that is not something that is for us to to 
what's it called? Like a noun. I think that's that's further down the road. I think I'm not gonna go too deep into it. Otherwise, maybe the marketing team at, at Block Lots might be upset with me. No, so they, I think that's something. They will lynch us. We can't. We can't. Yeah. Do too, we can't go too hard. Yeah, it's, but but there's certainly um, there's there's gonna be a connection, right? I think last time. Not last time, but we had David on here as well in, in the spaces. He said there's, there's always going to be a connection. The foundation is Seascape as it's built right now. And um, block lots will be built upon that. That's not a promise that anything is like SCWS, whatever, is, is going to be in there. But there's going to be stuff that um, Seascape and, and block lots, they, they go together, they grow together. And there's going to be like a, uh, there's certainly, a, there will be a connection. I, I can't say or disclose to what extent. But but there will be um, then other stuff, yeah. right? Um, Absolutely. Let me quickly see. Uh, what else there's been said? Um, I think one thing. Okay, that's that's a big one. The the, the question you just asked, Dylan. I. I think that's not something that I can I can uh, comment on a whim now. Um, so so I, I just read it out and then Char can maybe decide. Oh um, my gosh, I'm I'm so, scared. Yeah, I I just read out the question. Can we try uh, to have a half D- DAO right DAO in Seascape oh, yeah. 2.0 where people make suggestions Ooh. and people can upvote. Highest upvoted idea gets taken to the team to discuss. Oh my gosh, I like that <laughs> idea, but I don't. I, it's, a good it's, idea. I don't get to call it, but. I think that's a great suggestion. I think that like it might, even if we don't do exactly that, I think having some sort of putting that idea out there into the decision maker's brains, I think that that's actually, I think that's yeah. not, not, not a terrible thing. So I, I like it. Someone give this man a cookie. You deserve a cookie. Okay. Dylan, you'll get a cookie. We'll we see what kind of cookie. <laughs> and the like mm-hmm. for features. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's a, um, definitely, definitely a good idea. Um, I think I, I guess that's something because that the implementation would be quite a, a big thing. So um, I'm not sure. That's why I I, I didn't want to comment to, on it on a whim. Uh, I'm glad Char did. Mm. <laughs> um, no, but but I think the the idea is very very interesting, and I think so, oh, that's also something as as I think very. Um, I mean, Spotify isn't a Web three like brand, but uh, mm. something like Web three can can do, and it's very interesting in Web three. The the like stuff like govern- governance tokens. I'm not sure if that's on the cards. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's not a promise. Mm-hmm. I've just said the word. That doesn't mean it's coming. Okay, <laughs> I would just, just cover my base before David comes for me. Or, um, uh, no, but but I think there's, there's there's loads of stuff, and I think like being um, yeah, to to have certain decisions um, be made in unison um, with the community is certainly something that is even even without being like a DAO. Um, I think that's certainly something that that we will um, we will entertain the ideas and um, whenever there's stuff, for example, like you said, like um, get get the ideas taken to the team to, to to discuss. If there's something I I see or maybe half or Anura or whoever else um, happens to stumble upon something in one of our groups, um, that's always being um, at least discussed with someone in the team, right? So either if I take it to Cha or if I don't know. Um, Alpha brings it to me and then we discuss it or I bring it in. I don't know. It's always getting passed on. So most of the stuff you write um, is definitely being seen. It's not a guarantee every single message is seen that's sent in the Telegram just because sometimes logistically that's not possible. But for mm-hmm. example, like um, in, in the in the like in the last couple of days I've been I've been reading extra carefully in the in the Seascape Prices discussion, discussion group. Um I've I've um taken notes and uh so, so definitely something that that's very interesting and a very good idea. And we'll see about the cookie, Dylan. <laughs> so send me your address. I will, I will literally, I will send you a physical cookie, a singular one. No, um, you, 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 you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> send your address. Okay. Uh, um, any, any, anything else? Um, yes, yeah, there's one thing. I don't know if that's. I think also like a big question, but but an interesting one at the very least, and good to to. At least ask, maybe maybe it won't be answered. And any insight on the progress with Seascape partnering with Web2 game studios and helping, helping them to transit to the Web3, either through IDOs or other ways? Ooh, that's a great question. All I can say is that we are in discussion. In discussion with uh, 
And I, with with there, are some people we're talking to. That's that's all I can say. Yeah. Okay. There's the discussions, right? There's discussions. Okay. There's discussions. The, the next one is actually um all from Andy, uh, who asked about instead of using Gleam, um, using Crew Three. Um, I've never heard of this. Yeah, what it's is, like it? a different thing, and it, yeah, I think that's one of the problems with uh, Gleam. Um, is instead of uh, instead of getting a million good project messages, um, it rewards sustained engagement. So I think this. Note it. I will. I will look into it. I will put it down in this. Yeah, please little, do. Please do. In this little document, check it out. Okay, I'll, I'll look into it. Maybe if, if it's interesting. Um, it sounds interesting. Certainly, it sounds like a better version of Gleam. Um, yeah. Yeah. Happy uh, down. So thank you for the for the. What's it called? Suggestion. There we go. Um, also, one thing. I just, um, now I've lost the word. What's this? Say? Instant institute. What was the word you just used? And I, I was. I learned another word today. Assuage. No, no. Instantiation. 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 There, there's what you used. Um, yes. Another new word I learned. And then assuage. Assuage as well. Two new mm. words. Uh, and then also one thing. Okay, there's a lot more words. Um, for Ceci, couldn't understand anything so far. He hates not knowing English. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, that's why we, we'll get the recap um, article down. The good thing is, out of the 40 minutes we've been talking, I think maybe 15 to 20 were just rambling. Um, <laughs> oh so, God. so I, I think the recap article we can easily, easily do that. And if not, we can. Um, I think some of the stuff also is is being sent in here already. I've seen some messages uh, writing that down. But the, we'll 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 try to get a recap article up. Um, and then for the next time, maybe I'll, I'll if I, I hope I remember, um, if if there's going to be closed captions again, like subtitles, I'll, I'll make sure to put my Twitter in English, mm. so there's actually it makes sense. It's not just mm. gibberish. Um, yeah, it is absolute nonsense. <laughs> um, I... Oh okay. my god, it is nonsense. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, All so right. so um, I think um, yeah, there, there's been other stuff. For example, like I, I just wanna I just wanna say that as well, right? So there's been stuff mm-hmm. about boats, about rip, about CWS. The problem is with that, it's like that's a, a a big big thing. Something that's like that needs, I guess, more. Yeah, it's it's I I not ideally to dis- discuss it in, in like this manner. I think right. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. for like larger larger decisions, um, those will be answered uh, down the line, but just due to the nature of, of the like magnitude of them. Sometimes we can't address them in like, such short notice. Or even sometimes, honestly, we, we, some questions might not just be answered at all just because, uh, I don't know, certain... Um, I don't know, you can't disclose everything in, sometimes in business and in love as well. Yeah. But that's a different discussion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, then this, maybe, maybe we can quickly touch upon it, right? So there's, we have this part of the roadmap thing, right? We have mini miners on the horizon. Um, mm-hmm. People have been wondering, because it ties in with a certain thing, uh, Lighthouse, right? Can we, if not, I never ask, can we say something? So, wait, 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 like, like what? I don't know anything. Uh, well, well, because I, I, well, with respect to mini miners, what I can say is that uh, it's super fun and addictive, and we can't wait for you guys to play it. We have a couple of partnerships that, really, that we're really excited about. We've got like, um, it should be coming real soon. Blink and you'll miss it. I said that last time. Don't blink. Uh, yeah. And uh, <sighs> well, what, what else can I say? Oh, I guess. I guess I can. I'll give you guys this. This is for those of you who've been paying attention. Super secret. No one knows this yet. First time being mentioned here. You guys are, are you know. spicy. Yeah. So, mini miners is going to come out in phases, and the first phase will be a totally playable game, completely playable. Uh, we will just add more gameplay in future um, versions, uh, and. During that uh, initial access, we're going to be giving out goo gobs, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of resources. 
make sure you are paying attention to social media, that you are, you know, joining communities and whatnot, getting your hands on those free resources to, to improve your game. The earlier you get in, the better off you'll be. Then we're going to have a special uh, little sale, little lighthouse sale related to mini miners. Won't get too much, won't get into the details. I look forward to a mini miners lighthouse sale. Uh, followed by a, a really big uh, like a upgrade to the game. So, yeah, uh, and all that's happening soon, soon. Like, real, 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 real soon. Um, we are just gearing up, putting the final touches on it. It should be ready very soon. So, get you get your grinds and gear. Yeah, there we go. Grind those gears. Gr- yeah. grind, grind the gears, yes. Um, yeah, for for any, uh, I I just have to do it. That's a that's the prime communication strategy. Keep an eye on the announcement channel, guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's the go to. Oh, soon, mm. soon, and then an eye emoji. Um, no, but the, yeah, so it, it's common. I think um, one thing as well is yeah, yeah. From the mini miners, it I've seen some. I've actually I played it a while ago, but it was a very early version. But I think it's definitely, I don't I think it's fun. Um, and I think it looks adorable. It looks so cute. I think the, the graphics are amazing. I, I do love the mini miners. They, they look very nice. They're cute. Um, and so so that's interesting, at least. Um, no, not at least. It's, it's definitely interesting. Just interesting. Um, so that's one thing. Yeah, for, um, when there's been a question in the, in the Telegram as well. The CWS token and the idea of tokenomics, I think that's like such an overarching thing. Um, there's, there's obviously, there's a plan, right? Um, it's not always easy to discuss it because we, I don't know, promises around that because it's also like, um, for, for some people, I guess, like, a, um, for, I don't know, just in, in general with the investment and, and around the token, that's like the core of Seascape. Um, we can't yeah, go into exactly. too much detail all the time. Obviously, you've said it's it's been spo- not been talked about for a while. There's something we'll address, but the problem is that has to be addressed in the right way. Um, and so, so that's something that will come down the line. But unfortunately, not not today. This is uh, more like a for for some of the stuff we can already talk about that maybe needed addressing. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, then, yeah. Um, so, so the bigger, the so bigger, more overarching things will be discussed down the line. They will certainly will be touched upon. They will be talked about. The problem is just uh, for for this right now. We're just doing like a um, a shorter, more concise version for stuff that's that's maybe hasn't been said, but was there to be said, right? So certain things can't mm-hmm. always be fully given out. Um, I think apart from that, if there's like I give you very short. Uh, if you want to ask a quick question. <laughs> okay, for Char for this is being trolled. Uh, so uh, Andy just announced Blocklot uh, is going to be released tomorrow, but that's obviously not true. Oh no, no, <laughs> the of poor guy. It was released yesterday. Exactly. <laughs> no, that was, it, this is taken up a, a life on its own. Obviously, no Blocklot will not be literally released tomorrow. And Andy, you get you'll have to send the cookie to Dylan. That's your punishment for lying. Mm. Um, no, okay, sorry. Um, but I think um, apart from that, this kind of the, the first one of those, right? We'll, we'll have stuff going on on, yeah, Discord, on the announcement channels. We'll be uh, we'll be discussing. We'll be we'll be changing our communication plan, our way of communicating um, internally, or like from from inwards out. So to towards the community, um, maybe I don't know how how much that has been prevalent. Most stuff, for example, like. Um, some issues about like the the pools have been raised before, so we we've noted that as well. Sometimes there's certain stuff in product in development that is just the way it is. We can't really communicate decisions that haven't been made by us. Um, but that right, so um, it's always uh, it's always like a tough thing. But we always we do listen before. It's most messages have, have always been read. You see as well like Haifu, um Anura. They're always in. In, in the telegram that I was reading shout replying. out to them man exactly shout out to them they they are they are fantastic they really are um and then someone else fantastic that is myself <laughs> <laughs> um and 
No, but but we we do we do see um, most, if not all, of the messages and take them into account, forward them if they need forwarding to to the uh, appropriate people. Yeah, and Precisely. I think I think this pretty much is it. Yeah, Dylan, <laughs> they try to they try to uh, trick me into giving out information. I think I think I can't. Um, that is that is all, all for the block lots team to decide um, when and how they they want to announce that. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. no. But I but I think we'll wrap it up here. Um, yeah. There's there's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be more more coming in the future, and um, there's gonna be yeah like we'll we'll get the roadmap out, out as soon as possible. We'll um, we we'll get a dynamic one just so you you guys know what's happening when. I, I think one thing as well is gonna be like. Obviously, that's not like a secret and hasn't been part of it as well. But I think, if, for example, like with the r running, <laughs> with the run, like, poor, poor script of Jose's he's being trolled. because he's, oh, no. he's, he's always very interested in the Romans, and and he said the Romans are being discontinued, which is also not true. No, <laughs> no the poor guy, not. he's gonna no, have a heart no, no. attack. Okay, for you, for Sezi, I have a very special usage of the Romans in mind, but I cannot tell you what it is. Yeah. Um, I, but look out for it. It's something we haven't done. I don't think anyone's done at all, period, in Web3. So, uh, I, it, it's, it's quite special. So, be, please be happy about that. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, so, no, you need, also need to say it in Italian. <laughs> Nope, sorry, can't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, no, but um, yeah, okay, no, we we'll, we we'll wrap it up now. Uh, this, uh, but just know that there's this this stuff uh, happening, going on, and we we want to change, we want to get better. Okay, we're trying, guys, and girls. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, okay, ciao. I, I need, need to practice finishing off Twitter spaces. Yeah. Uh, ah, there we go. Thank you guys so much for showing up. We appreciate your time, your energy. We hope that you'll continue to come back and support us. Give us any questions, comments, concerns, prayers, etc. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Same time, same place. No, a different place, actually. Okay, same time, different place. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For anything else, we'll we'll always now actually keep an eye on the announcement channels for other stuff surrounding anything. Right. That's always gonna be there. That's gonna be on our Twitter or Telegram. Thank you for tuning in. Um. Yeah. And yeah, we'll we'll definitely go in. I think I think the price session group is one of the more active groups, even though it's like a smaller one uh, comparatively. But it's always very active. We'll we'll definitely we'll be in there. And, we, I'm, I'm, I'm basically when I say we, I think it's the community management team specifically for the the English speaking group. So that's um, half for Anura and I. We'll we'll be in there. We'll try to um, answer any questions, any concerns, and um, help out where where, where helps needed. Um, with the communication, I, that's something that's going to change in the coming weeks and hopefully improve or improve for the better. Um, yeah, but apart from that, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for for having this discussion with us, with us for providing the feedback, for being, um, yeah, interested continuously, for being invested in us emotionally, maybe also financially. Um, mm -hmm. We really appreciate it, and we we really we're looking forward to to what's what's to come, together with you guys for Seascape, mm -hmm. for for Block Lots as well to an extent, or oh, for Block Lots as well, not just to an extent. And for all of the other great stuff that's that's uh, to do to come in the future. So again, thank you very much, and um, we'll we'll be in touch as always. Exactly. Um, yeah. So again, and then also thank you, Char, for joining me. For no, of course, anytime, anytime, anytime. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll cut it off here. You can you can um, listen back. I think pretty much immediately after on Twitter, we'll upload it to YouTube as well, and then. For any non-English speakers, we'll get uh, or our avid readers. We'll we we'll get a recap article out in the coming guys, uh, common days. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, thank you very much, and have a fantastic day or night wherever you are.
precisely. Catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.